think Ryan is our man. But procedure says we eliminate all of his suspects. Let's speak to Varley. Need a drink. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll rat you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. That's a lie. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Noticed by Valley. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principal. <laughs> what do we have? How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There is no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Matthew did say about it. Well, I'm just saying. Clement says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real time pressure in getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Insta Heat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. No, because we found some, uh, uh, some of those mosquito coils. Huh? Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Well, oh, hang on. <laughs> those things. They belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. Chances Reginald go. Barley, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. I'm no cold-blooded criminal. I could never bring up a whole family in their home. How is it, no, just keep your mouth shut and listen to me for a second. How is it you can bring no less than three suspects into my station, conduct extensive interviews, sift through mountains of evidence with Lynch and Pinker, and still manage to charge the wrong fucking guy? I took a chance on you, Phelps. People said I was crazy, and you made me look like a jerk. You may not be much of an arson investigator, but I hear you're merciless on the beat. Uh -huh. Get going. I thought I picked the right one because they had the... Let's see, we have what? One, two, three, four.
You're two blocks behind first and second. We have more buildings to clear. You know our orders, There's Sergeant. There's barely a building left standing or not on fire in your zone, Cole. Is your sector full of Japs? Questioning my command. The captain doesn't want anyone falling behind. Tell the captain we will join him when the job is done. Just give us the word, Sarge. We'll take care of him. He should be sectioned. That Jap lover's a fucking liability. We're here to kill Japs, not our own people. Starcross, son of a bitch. No one wants to serve under him. He's bad fucking luck. Can it? We have a job to do here. If I can live with it, you can too. That's a bubble of gummy. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. Didn't have to say anything. I just don't know how to dance to bebop. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. I know that thing. That's the guy who busted all those Negro drug pushers last week, didn't you? Can you drive to this one? You hear about Rancho Escondido? Are we having a conversation, Big? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Developers gonna have some very angry customers. Need to set up a new house very fast. They're gonna be like actually happy. But yeah. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved them into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? To make it look like something else. What are they doing? The rare effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Oh yeah, the only thing that is not bad. think about how many people have died in this world. How big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? He got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. 
You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. You could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence? Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. We better find out what's eating the big.